What do Katy Perry, Niall Horan, Harrison Ford, and Thomas Jefferson all have in common? And I have a question for you. Do you dread getting up in front of other people? Does your heart beat a little faster? Does your mouth go dry? Does your voice or your hands tremble? I know my voice trembles when I get nervous and my heart beats a little faster. If you are, you're likely experiencing speaker's anxiety or more generally performance anxiety. Sometimes it's also referred to as stage fright. And unfortunately, stage fright or performance anxiety can exact a huge toll on self-confidence and self-esteem. I've seen it over and over again. People experience symptoms ranging from butterflies to throwing up to full-on panic attacks. And I've even seen people leave school or a job or pass up a promotion just to avoid being in these anxiety-provoking situations. And you may even be aware that some popular celebrities have even left the spotlight for good because of severe anxiety or stage fright. So if you do get stage fright, you're in good company. Did you know that Katy Perry, Adele, and Harrison Ford all suffer from stage fright? So if you get stage fright, you're in good company. I know some people try to keep performance anxiety a secret, so that's why today I wanted to talk about eight popular performers and have you listen to how they describe their anxiety. So we'll start with Katy Perry. She, of course, appears poised, confident, and professional on stage, but she does suffer from stage fright. And in one 2010 BBC radio interview, she said, I still feel nervous performing to crowds. It's not that I don't feel ready, but I worry that they'll rush the stage as they're all screaming my name, or I'll feel like I want to yak. Niall Horan, he's the One Direction band member, of course, the favorite of tweens all over the world. Last year, he told a reporter that he's claustrophobic and often feels anxious when he interacts with a large crowd. Here's one you may not know, Harrison Ford, of course, from Raiders of the Lost Ark and Star Wars and many other blockbuster movies. So he's clearly comfortable in front of the camera, but speaking in front of a group is a different story. And I think that's common for a lot of people. Different situations make them anxious. And he admits that he gets anxious whenever he's asked to speak in public. And in fact, it's been reported that he even feels anxiety when one of the characters he's playing is giving a speech. I found that fascinating. Adele, of course, she's a multi-Grammy winner. She suffers from extreme stage fright. Before the show, she reportedly experiences sleepless nights, vomiting, and other symptoms. And she's even sought professional help, including hypnotherapy, to try to ease her anxiety. Some historians believe that Thomas Jefferson suffered from social anxiety and stage fright. In fact, it affected his legal career and prevented him from speaking at the Second Continental Congress. For those that love romantic comedies, Hugh Grant, he's a longtime film star, and he's considered retiring from acting many times. And in one article in The Atlantic, he said, I've had all these panic attacks. They're awful. I freeze like a rabbit. I can't speak. I can't think. Sweating like a bull. When I got home from doing that job, I said to myself, no more acting. End of films. And of course, most people know that Barbara Streisand, back in 1976, forgot the lyrics to a song during a performance in Central Park. And then from that point on, she experienced such extreme stage fright, she used a teleprompter when she performed or she didn't perform at all. And this was one I didn't know. Somebody that I've seen in concert several times is Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, when he first started out, he suffered from stage fright. And he even stood behind a set of speakers during a concert in 1968 to avoid facing his audience. And I just want to mention, too, that to be really clear, stage fright isn't just for young and inexperienced people. There's a psychologist, a sports psychologist, Dr. Paul Dennis. He says that stage fright can hit veteran performers at the peak of their career. In an article in The Star, he was quoted as saying, quite often it's a result of them overthinking the situation. Has that ever happened to you? They view it as the pressure situation, a threat to their personal well-being, to their ego. They don't want to make a mistake, and all of these thoughts could lead to a downward spiral and cause them to be absolutely frozen prior to the event. I'm sure that's happened to some of you. I know it's happened to me once or twice. 
to let you know that if you experience speakers or performance anxiety, you're not alone and you don't have to keep it a secret. More importantly, there are things that you can do on your own to reduce stage fright. The first step, and I think this is an important first step, is to just accept yourself, to be comfortable in your own skin. Don't feel like you have to prove yourself to the audience. Remind yourself that nobody's perfect, nobody expects you to be perfect, and it's okay to make mistakes. I know, much easier said than done. And one final thing, I recommend that you try out several techniques at the same time, because often it's the combination of techniques that helps the most. Finally, if you're still suffering after you've tried several techniques, you don't have to suffer. I encourage you to go seek the help of a professional. My primary message for today is don't let performance anxiety negatively impact your career or your life.